He wants it to be full, full term is androgenic anabolic steroid. Androgenic means male hormone like, anabolic means filled and steroid is classic drugs. These are his derivatives of cholesterol. The body has male hormones in it, derivatives of testosterone. And these drugs are manufactured synthetically, and we use them in medicine for people who have certain types of anemias or different types of diseases. The athletes, unfortunately, use these hormone drugs in order to enhance their growth of muscle their ability to retain weight, nitrogen, and all these different elements that they retain. I have to be quite truthful with you. I only use anabolic. I'm not going to have to deny it because uh, all, all the other Olympic contender, I feel that they are using it, and I only use it for the effect, the reverse catabolic effect, you know? I don't use steroids to be a monster because I don't think monsters win. There's no way of stopping anyone from doing any action that they wish to do. It's just like a diabetic who likes to eat chocolate cake. You shouldn't eat the chocolate cake, but they're going to do it anyway, but you'll still take care of them to try and manage your diabetes. What I try and do is pick up the health problems in the athlete early enough before it becomes a fatal or a chronic series. I'm in the gym, and I've been in the gym for 12 years, and I've seen young kids or people that don't even look like anything, you know, they start taking steroids. And they're taking dosages that, you know, a champion bodybuilder would never even take. And it still doesn't look like anything. So if you feel that steroids are going to make you a champion, they're not. It's sad to say that it's gotten out of proportion now. You know, it was something before that it was almost like a, a click that only bodybuilders knew about. And now everybody knows about steroids. And now steroids are becoming almost like cocaine. It's becoming that bad. You see, the guys that make it to the Mr. Olympia are already genetic superior beings to begin with. That's why they've made it this far. And you see that first and worst are the young kids coming up who aren't so genetically superior because they're going to take five times as much as these guys to try and get anywhere near where these guys are. And that's the patient population that would be most severely damaged overall. I said it before and I say it again. If you eliminate, eliminate anabolic steroids from all the athletes at one time, the champion will remain the champion. You know? And I really think um, we better off with doctors, honestly. There's one athlete, uh, Paul John Gillian, who was just in a recent pro contest, and he's in the top 10 or 15 in the world. And after a recent competition, he wanted to be tested. He came to me, I didn't go to him. And I tested him the next day, right after the competition, he was negative. He also won the World Championship here in this country. So there are these genetic freaks, so to speak, or these superior genetic specimens that will gradually come to service. I feel that it's so bad that I took the drugs for 75,000 points, I gave him about $20,000. I gave him $100,000 for a working because I was not to catch you, but I never catch you, bro. People are too sure when you come off of it. How do you come off of the drugs for the new drugs? I have an impotent drug. I compete in immune weight for since 1980. I think the main thing about natural bodybuilding is you have to train all the time. You can't take two or three months off and then try to come back. You have to eat good all the time. And it's become like a self-discipline. You got to really want it.
I have to sacrifice and the genetics that that person has.
that was the case, you know, if you take steroids. Because now, of course, drugs are such a big issue in sport. The, the, the answer is yes. Uh, it was just at the beginning stage because bodybuilders in those days just experimented with it. But it was not illegal. It was like, it was, uh, we talked about it very openly. I mean, anyone that was asked, do you take steroids? Yeah, I take three day on a or a day. Or someone else would say, I would take this, 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 that. It was not an illegal thing. Now, uh, after it became a big problem, then our federation said, okay, bodybuilders ought not to take steroids. And there will be testing done, uh, surprise testing done. You could be called at any given time. And within two days, you have to do a test. So you can't get rid of the, the whole thing out of the system or anything like that. So that's what's going on right now. The bodybuilders are tested continuously.
the state champion swimmer. Next on the Wednesday night. Wednesday night for the French person, so I was here. My son was a state champion swimmer. Next on one of the swimmers. Zero Wednesday night. Wednesday night for the French person, so I was here. My son was a state champion swimmer. Zero Wednesday night. The Wednesday night was a bunch of snow. I was here. My son was a state champion swimmer. Next up, more swimmers. Zero Wednesday night. The Wednesday night was a bunch of snow. Here. My son was a state champion swimmer. Next on one of the swimmers. Zero on Wednesday night. And the Wednesday night was bench for so I was here. My son was a state champion swimmer. Zero on Wednesday night. And the Wednesday night was bench for so I was here. My son was a state champion swimmer. Next on one of swimmers. Zero on Wednesday night. And the Wednesday night was bench for so here. My son was a state champion swimmer. Next on one of the swimmers. Zero on Wednesday night. The Wednesday night was much for snake. So I was here. got a new tape it's called fitness is it's uh, 40 minutes of remixes of eight hours of field recordings from planet fitness locations in southern Wisconsin uh, the field recordings by Peter J Woods uh, thank you yeah.